Stratos is an also inspired app switcher replacement. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? This is Jeff Benjamin with I Download Blog, and we are talking about Stratos, an also inspired app switcher replacement for iOS. And obviously, this one looks very much like the tweak that inspired it, also legacy that is. Um, this tweak allows you to not only have an app switcher uh, that looks like also, but you also you also have the media controls there. If you swipe to the left, swipe again, you also have your control center there. So although it does replace the normal gesture for invoking control center, you can still access all that that content just by swiping over like this. Now, when you're on your lock screen, you basically just get the normal control center. Nothing really changes in that regard. Uh, the apps. Apps obviously aren't there because you're you're locked out of your phone. Um, so to invoke Stratos, all you do is you swipe up from the bottom of the screen like you would to invoke Control Center. You can swipe on any of the app preview cards here. And to actually switch to one of those cards, all you do is you tap on the card like that, and that will load up the App Switcher card. Uh, if you want to kill a particular app, you can do that as well. So I'm going to open this card. I'm going to kill the App Store app just by swiping up like that, and it gets rid of the App Store app. So that is how Stratos works, ladies and gentlemen. It's pretty simple, straight to the point, and uh, very much looks like also legacy. Uh, but there are also a lot of customizations that can be made with this jailbreak tweak as well, and that's what we're gonna go into right now in the tweaks preferences in the stock settings app. Now, one thing I wanna just point out before we get into the meat and potatoes of the preferences is that in the settings app, in the preferences for the tweak, if you swipe down and you just drag down, you'll see a picture of some cats there. I just think that was hilarious. Um, so obviously the team has a has quite a sense of humor there uh, and don't take themselves too seriously. Now at the top of the preferences, you have a simple kill switch. If you turn that off, you can turn off straddles right there on the fly and that disables you know, just with one little toggle there. Uh, so now you just, you're just back to your normal control center view, just like that. But obviously we wanna turn that on so I can show you all the different features of Stratos. Now you have an appearance section. Notice the background of the app switcher cards here. You see that's the common blur setting and you can change that up. There are actually five different settings to choose from. You have the dark mode, which gives you a dark app switcher background. You have dock blur. So there's that. You have Common Blur, which I showed you earlier, and then you have CC Style. That I think that's my favorite CC Style, and then you have Light. Uh, so I like the look of CC Style, especially when you're on your like your home screen. You swipe up, sort of looks like the you know the stock control center, the blur that you get with the stock control center, and I just think it looks good and it looks pretty natural. Um, so I'm gonna stick with the CC style for background style. You also have show grabber. So you can turn that little grabber nub at the top off if you want to. Uh, so that goes away. I kinda like it on there. Uh, you have parallax mode. I don't use parallax for video, so we just won't talk about that right now. But um, you do have the option to enable parallax. I have that disabled uh, globally on my device right now. And you also have this little height adjustment. So you can actually adjust the height. Notice the little preview below actually shows what it's gonna look like as you adjust the height. So basically the switcher background, you can adjust that, that height on the fly just like this. So I'm gonna turn it all the way up and invoke the uh, Stratos interface. There you go. So I'm gonna, gonna turn it all the way down now and invoke the interface. So you can see the difference there. I do like the default setting, which is right about there. Uh, I think that looks best. But I like how they have that nice little preview there. Very much uh, good attention to detail in the preferences. Now, under functionality, you have several different switches that you can enable or disable. The first switch is show running app in switcher. So basically, this will show the running application. For instance, right now, the running application or the, the application in the foreground is the settings app, right? Because we're in the settings. So you can have that on, and when you swipe up, notice what you see there on the left left side, you see the settings. Obviously, now that would be hidden if you have show running app in switcher off, so now you don't see the settings app. So it's really gonna depend on you. It's kind of like redundant, like because you already have it open in full view, so I see why some people may wanna turn that off. Next up, you have activate via home button, and this allows you to use a double press of the home button, basically replace the normal app switcher invocation method, which is a double press of the home button with Stratos. So if I turn that off, watch what happens when I double press on the home button. 
it just opens up the normal app switcher, right? Uh, but if I turn that on, let's see, activate via home button, turn it on, you see it invokes Stratos, which it went straight to the uh, the control center, but of course you can swipe over there and get back to your app switcher cards. So it's just gonna depend on you. If you really want this to be your primary app switcher, then it probably will feel most natural to have that on. Now, the next one is enable quick launch. This is a very interesting feature here, and this basically allows you in one motion to swipe up as you invoke control or as you invoke Stratos, and it will allow you to launch the app uh, on the fly. So let me just kind of show you this. It's really hard to describe, but uh, all right, so you see that I have the workflow app here. I'm gonna launch workflow by swiping up on it thanks to quick launch. So basically, I'm gonna swipe up and then I'm gonna continue swiping up and that launches workflow. It's kind of weird the way it works, but I actually really like it. I think it's really cool. So if you know exactly where your apps are gonna be on the app switcher, then you can easily uh, launch those apps uh, just by continuing to swipe up. Um, so yeah, just something to keep in mind. Pretty cool uh, little innovation there. Uh, with Strato. So the next one is to show the home screen card. So that'll just show the home screen card right there on the left side. Uh, if you want to do that, just to quickly get back to the home screen, you can do that. Um, I don't particularly like that, but it's going to be up to you. You also have page per third of screen. Now, this is really interesting. Now, if you have this off, anywhere you swipe up, it automatically goes to the first page that you have configured down below. And I'll show you that in a little bit. But Basically, this will always show just this one page, no matter where you swipe up from, from the bottom of the screen. But if you have page per third of screen on, you it basically separates your screen, or the bottom of the screen, into quadrants. So you have three quadrants. You have the left quadrant. If I swipe up on the left quadrant, that will open up the control center. If I swipe up on the middle quadrant, that opens up the middle, uh, the media controls. And if I swipe up on the right quadrant, that opens up the app switcher. So that is why that is convenient. And you can, of course, adjust those pages, or, or the different pages, down below in the paging section. So the default page is actually the switcher card. So that's the page it, everything will default to if I have the page per third screen option off. So now I have the default page is switcher cards. So I want to swipe up, it shows switcher cards. If I change the default page to media controls, swipe up, shows media controls. Control center, swipe up, shows control center. I like to keep that on switcher cards. But if you're using page per third of screen, it really doesn't matter that much. Um, you also have page order. So you can adjust the order of the app switcher pages there or the uh, the cards or whatever you want to call them. You have control center, media controls, and switcher cards. So you can make switcher cards go first. Um, so when you swipe up, switcher cards is first. That's the first thing in the uh, list here. So you would swipe over actually to get to the other options like control center and media controls. This is a bad idea because if you have a whole bunch of apps running, then it means you would have to keep swiping over all the way to get to Control Center and your media control. So you definitely want to keep switcher cards last. Now, Control Center and media controls should, can be adjusted as you wish because you can just quickly swipe over to get to those. But switcher cards I would definitely keep last if I was you. Uh, just something to keep in mind. Um, number of switcher pages. Now, if you want to use switcher cards first, then you may want to adjust this number of switcher pages. Now, this is handy when you have the control center or media controls, like I said earlier, to the right of the switcher card. So right now I have it set to all, but if I set it to one, um, basically it only shows one page of switcher cards there, which isn't very good because what if I have other apps running that I want to switch to? But the reason you would use this is if you, like I said, have the page order you have switcher cards set to first, and then if you have your number of switcher pages set to only one, then it won't matter as much because you only have one switcher page, so when you swipe over, you know you're gonna get right to the control center. So it's just something to keep in mind. I don't think this is a very good idea, personally, because obviously the whole point of an app switcher is to be able to access all your recent and running apps. So uh, just something to keep in mind. Um, yeah, but. You guys can comment and let me know what you what you think about that in particular. Now, the last one is open to media of playing. So basically what that'll do is if a song is playing, then it will automatically uh, open up to the now playing or to the media controls first whenever invoking the app switcher. So ladies and gentlemen, that is Stratos. It is a very, very uh, 
deep tweak as far as the settings and things to adjust very much like also but you're not going to you're going to notice that you know a lot of the intangibles that also brought to the table just aren't here you don't have the really smooth animations in fact there's actually an option to kill all apps if you tap and hold on any of the app searcher cards and that'll kill all the the applications but it does so in a way that's just not smooth at all actually let me show you that right now so i'm going to tap and hold on this that the Snapchat application is tap and hold and that kills all apps and see how it just it's just kind of janky it doesn't look very good and there are other examples of the um, animations within um, Stratos that just don't they're just not up to par when compared to also legacy um, there you want to notice a lot of little subtleties like that like the basic functionality of this week is very very similar but the attention to detail that you get from a tweak like also is just so far beyond any other tweak that it's it's kind of ridiculous uh so most of you probably won't care about that uh in fact I, i'm willing to bet that the majority who are interested in stratos are just interested in having also legacy like functionality and aren't so much paying attention to animations and how the screen you know scrolls up like for instance here when you swipe up notice the rest of the interface behind it just stays put and it's, the screen doesn't actually move up with the with the interface so that's another little a thing to keep in mind there's just all sorts of little little details that you may notice if you paid a lot of attention to previous versions of also um yeah it's just something to keep in mind but folks ladies and gentlemen stratos is a great tweak for those of you looking for an also like replacement for ios 8 it is going to be available in the very near future on cydia for a dollar 99 so let me know what you guys think about stratos down below in the comment section will you be using this tweak let me know this is jeff with iDownloadBlog.